Now that you've launched the Scratch Offline Editor, let's take a look at your options for blocks with the Hummingbird. Once again, make sure your Hummingbird board is connected via USB. To locate your Hummingbird blocks, select the More Blocks tab. There you will find all of your Hummingbird blocks. If the blocks do not appear, click on the Open Scratch button on the BirdBrain robot server. All of the blocks can be tested before adding them to your programs by simply changing the values and clicking on them. First, let's check out servos and standard motors. To use these, make sure your power cable is plugged into a separate power source. Starting with the motor commands, we have the servo block. This controls servos 1 through 4 with a value ranging from 0 to 180 degrees. Next, we have the Hummingbird gear motor. This will control commands for motor ports 1 or 2 with a value ranging from negative 100 at lowest to 100 at highest. Last up for the motors, we have vibration. This will set vibration motors 1 or 2 at an intensity value ranging from 0 to 100. Now let's move on to our LED commands. First we have a standard LED. This sets the intensity of a single color LED light for ports 1 through 4. The intensity ranges from 0 to 100. Then you have the tricolor LED, which controls port 1 or 2 with red, green, and blue intensities ranging from 0 to 100. Switching gears, now let's take a look at sensors. All sensing commands allow the user to specify a number corresponding to the port the sensor is on. To see the value of the sensor, simply click on the block. The Hummingbird temperature sensor block returns the value in Celsius of a temperature probe. The sound sensor block returns the loudness of the nearby area with a value ranging from 0 to 100. The rotary block returns the value of the Hummingbird's knob, also ranging from 0 to 100. By sensing the amount of light in the room, the light sensor returns a value from 0 to 100 as well. The Hummingbird distance sensor returns the distance to an object from the sensor in centimeters. The distance sensor's range is 5 to 100 centimeters, but a value greater than 80 centimeters indicates that nothing is within range of the sensor. Then you have the voltage sensor. This returns the raw analog voltage reading at the sensor port ranging from 0.00, .00 to 5.00. .00. And lastly, we have the speak block. This enables the computer to say whatever text is typed into the box. Hello. And that completes the run-through of the Hummingbird blocks for Scratch. For more tutorials, check out our YouTube channel.